Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll be showing you how to change the version of your mod, alright? So, to do this, we're going to press Windows key plus R, open app data, and navigate to roaming Minecraft in the mods folder, okay? Now we're just going to simulate changing the version here. I should mention that there might be mods where changing the version works fine, but there will probably be others where changing the version breaks them completely. Generally, it's usually the former, no big deal, right? But if you're jumping between very different versions, well, it might cause some issues, especially if it's a large mod or one that changes a lot of things. So first things first, let's take these as examples of mods, okay? But for now, let's focus on this jar file, all right? We're going to pretend this is a mod and we'll change it to a zip file. Let's see, we want to change it and basically once we've done this, what we'll do is extract it, okay? We're going to extract it and here we'll have all the files. We could sort them by date which will make it much more convenient. Alright, the files we have are all these ones here, okay? And basically what we need to do is open the fabric.modi.json file. So it's important that we open it with a tool like Notepad, okay? Because once we've opened it with Notepad, we can look for the version section. Then we'll see version 0, 92.2 plus 1, 20.1. So for the 1, 20.1, we can change it to, uh, for example, 1, 20.3, okay? And here, everywhere it says version, we can or should change it, okay? Then each mod will have its own txt file we should go through and look for them. Usually the version is here at the beginning and sometimes there's a second one at the end. I'm trying to see it and it looks like it's only at the beginning, okay? And that's what we need to do, all right? Once we've done this, I'm not gonna change it because otherwise it'll break the mod, got it? But it's not that it's going to break, it's that I won't be able to use it. We click on save, okay? We're going to save it. And once we've made and applied the changes, what we'll do is take all these mod fragments. We're going to add them to the file. In this case, the file is called fabric, blah, blah, blah. So we can copy the name, we can delete this zip file, okay? We paste the name, we click okay, perfect. And it's this file right here, okay? It didn't work out too well. Let's do it again because for some reason it's giving me trouble. We're going to put it in zip format. We're going to click okay. And there it is, the zip, all right? So we delete everything else and change this zip back to a.jar, okay? And that's how we would have our mod updated to a new version. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in future videos. Bye bye.